Princess Jawahar, as a leader, how do you align Tawania's strategies and national policies related to women empowerment? Um, so, um, maybe as I mentioned, since uh, women empowerment is one of the major social reforms under the vision, uh, Tawania uh, is playing a great role to support that, again, being the largest insurance company in the region. Uh, by diversifying or ensuring diversification of its workforce in general and ensuring the application of uh, any national rules or regulations that um, uh, to empower uh, women. And that's just, I mean, I guess that's one of the many ways in which Tawania is supporting the vision um, uh, through uh, societal development, economical advancement, and so on. Um, in Tawania, I think the, the representation of females across the board of the, I mean, the board of the, the entire company uh, is a testament to, and the percentage reaching 40% of your entire workforce to be females is not a small, uh, it's not a small percentage, we're almost equal. Uh, and, and I think this is one of the largest uh, representations or women to men ratio in any company. Where I'm from, one of the challenges women have is ourselves, our own self-doubt, and sometimes, myself included, where you think, am I qualified to do this? Do you run into people that feel that same way, and how do you encourage them? I have actually, I mean, uh, maybe not necessarily in Tawania, but throughout my career I have, and I think um, it's just a matter of helping the person um, uncover their own capabilities, um, trying to find where they excel and support them to actually uh, move towards that road, give them the tools, uh, coach them, train them. Um, everyone has, I mean, I'm sure that every woman that I have met throughout my career has more capabilities than she actually thinks she does. And looking at myself, when I first started my career. Um, there were many times where I, I stood in front of some tasks and I was like, how am I gonna do that? I don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. And seriously, I was blessed to have um, people around me in the workplace whom have empowered me, who have, whom have helped me unleash my capabilities. And I learned from them and did the same for other people uh, um, throughout my career. And maybe I'll mention um, one example that's not necessarily me, it was in the or entire organization. Uh, I, one of the organizations that I've worked with, we had a, uh, a female employee, she's a single mother, um, and she's taking care of two kids. At some point she had to bring her kids to, that was really, really way back, there was no daycares in some organizations, so she had to bring her kids there, and they're in the reception with the the patients or uh, customers coming to that reception. And her management realized that, and instead of telling her off, they actually tried to figure out a way to help her take care of her kids. And because she's working to provide for her kids, she's a single mom, she has no support whatsoever. And that was where the idea for at the time of the daycare started. And now that organization has a daycare. and. Each and every uh, woman who works in that organization who has kids is actually benefiting from that. And that was the start of it. That's a beautiful story. And again, this is incredible advice for anyone around stepping into where your true passion lies. I, I talk to people a lot about this to ignite the confidence within yourself. If you're in an accounting job, but your passion is in art, you're never going to feel the most confident and strongest and powerful that you can feel if you remain in a career and trajectory that isn't meant for you. Follow and find what those strengths are. They can be so surprising in, in many different ways. Thank you so much for sharing that.